As we're starting to see a lot of people come over to the drafter site for their best ball needs, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to let you guys know a little bit of strategy that goes around moving over to drafters. Things other than like underdog fantasy or DraftKings coming over here to drafters, playing in their tournaments and seeing how you can benefit from actually doing that as well. Let's kind of go over the base of what best ball really is in a nutshell, right? So on drafters, best ball is composed of players from a 20 round draft. Now just let you guys know things like underdog fantasy, there's only 18 rounds, but in drafters, we're talking about 20 rounds. But yes, drafters is composed of a 20 round draft. The positions you drafted are pretty much the same as everywhere else. Quarterback, running back, wide receiver, and tight end. Now, each week, your starting lineup is populated automatically for you. That's the love of best ball and why we like it, right? It's based on who scored the most points in any given weeks. The best thing about best ball is there's no more start sit decisions. There's no more waiver wires and there is no more trades. Now, when talking about best ball, there's tons of strategy you can use. Not one strategy is better than the other. You have to figure out what strategy is best for you. So let's look at some of the strategies you can use. One of the strategies we're talking about, maybe a hero RB type of, of strategy, maybe a zero RB type of strategy, maybe even a hero tight end strategy, maybe even a late round strategy, a uh, late quarterback type of strategy it might be the best thing for you. You have to figure out what works best for you. Don't go and say you have to go hero RB. That's the only way to do drafters. I say cock a doo doo to that, right? Figure out what works best for you. A lot of times, you know, you may not know uh, what somebody else really thinks is the best or what this other guy thinks is the best. Figure out what works for you. Your draft strategy is going to be dependent on someone else. There's only going to be a couple winners each and every year. Not everybody has the answers and nobody knows what's best for you and what's best to make sure you're winning the top of the food chain. But you also need to know the rules now. With the drafters has a little bit different rules. Let me just throw this up real quick. Let's go over the rules of, of where drafters is right now. And this is the $15 tournament, the big tournament. It's called the drafters million three NFL best ball championship. There's $2.5 million in prizes, $500,000 to first place. It's a total points format, which means the most points that you get in any given, uh, as far as any given season, weeks one through 17, whoever scores the most points, that's going to be who's giving up the absolute championship. And in this case, half a million dollars, 12 team drafts, both fast and slow. There's a $15 entry and there's a 150 max type of entries that you can put in there. So there's no more need for correlation in this tournament, right? You don't need to correlate your week 16 games, your week 17 games, no correlations. You just need to be putting up a high ceiling type of guys, not necessarily the safe floors. You need those high ceiling guys over here on drafters to put up the most points possible. Because again, the only thing that matters at the end of the day is the raw points that these guys are putting up doesn't matter what you're correlating all of that doesn't even matter right another thing you want to do keep up with the adps adps are fluctuating up and down every single day it's based on how many people are reaching for players right so if you're used to getting said player doesn't matter who it is in round three let's say but he's fallen in the draft maybe to now he's went from round three now he's in the back end of the round four now maybe you can get another stud in round three wait on your guy until you come into your fourth round pick you can still get your guy but also add more firepower to your team that's some things you want to think about always be looking at the adp looking where people are going you don't have to always reach for your guy just because it's your guy why would you go up there 24 picks early to grab your guy to secure it when you could have just maybe moved up seven or eight picks and grabbed your guy and still be stacking some of these studs that's some of the things you've got to really target and again speaking of targeting targeting those values right look at what you can get look at those adps the people that are plummeting down the adp those are some value type of guys you know if we got somebody that's rated let's say as a second round uh, a grade you know and, and all of a sudden you're in the fourth round and he's still on the board that's a value go grab your guy right you may say oh i kind of need the, the this this running back right here i need to run it back for my team but a wide receiver you know that's 20 picks past adp fell into your lap take the value that's what's going to set you apart in best ball always take your values and and, and just kind of build your team around that in a lot of ways another thing you want to do really prioritize two types of stacks one of these two types of stacks you really need to have correlate your running back with a wide receiver which is probably the best thing that you want to do but if you can't correlate your quarterback and your wide receiver 
correlate your quarterback and your tight end. You want some type of correlation in that aspect, not necessarily matchups where you have two teams in week 16, week 17, correlate the actual matchup. Cause let's just say, for instance, you have one of these star quarterbacks. If he's going to go off on any given week, unless he's running the football in every single time, which could be the case, but most likely he's probably throwing to one of his star wide receivers. So if you can correlate that, you're almost doubling your points for any given week. That's exactly what you guys want to do. Rock and roll with that. Okay. Uh, next thing you want to do, but just mix it up, right? Mix it up. You want to go into this draft having, you know, you, or you don't want to go in having a, a set strategy, right? You want to go in there and say, hey, whatever the chips fall, the chips fall. Don't go in and say, you know, every single draft, I have to get this player. You don't ever really want to have a hundred percent of any given player. Doesn't matter how good this player is. You don't want a hundred percent of anybody. If you, especially if you're max entering some of these tournaments at 150 lineups, and if you have, you know, 80% of one player, if that one player does not do well that season, your entire roster is probably thrown the cock a doo, doo unless he's one of those last round picks that you get, right? But I would say at least the first 10 rounds, you don't want to have 100% of those guys, right? Mix and match. Get some shares of this guy. Get some shares of that guy. Just you don't want to have the same exact team, right? So the last tip I have for you guys, just have fun. Just have fun. Don't get caught up in all these people saying, you have to draft this guy. No, you don't. Do what you want to do, boo-boo. That's what they always say, right? Don't worry about what this other guy is doing. This other guy is doing saying, you have to draft him. You have to draft him. No, you don't. You don't have to draft anybody you don't want to. Just have some fun with it, right? That's what this all is about. And that's what drafters is about. You've got to get over there in drafters and try it. Guys, if you're on underdog, if you're on DraftKings and you're like, man, I kind of really want to try it. I've got something for you guys. Don't worry about it. Get over there, sign up. When you make your first deposit, use code BAYUBENGAL, B-A-Y-O-U-B-E-N-G-A-L. Use BAYUBENGAL in that description and we are going to match 100% up to $100 of your first deposit. That means if you deposit $100, drafters will give you $100 and you have $200 to play on. That's a win-win situation. Go in there and try it. Doesn't even matter even if you deposit $25 just to give it a try. Go give yourself a chance at a half a million dollars. It's phenomenal, guys. Drafters is the way to go. It's one of the best sites, if not the best site right now that I believe you can get on and play best ball. I can't wait to see you guys in some of those drafts, guys. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments below. Make sure you guys are hitting a like button and hit the subscribe button. Hopefully I'll see you guys in some drafters drafts. We'll see you guys next time.